just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. So I've taken you on many a walks up and down Bolivar, uh, Catorce, because uh, I love that street and everything you can imagine is on that street. However, this is a city and there's a lot of places you can find without having to work too hard. So here's the Cafe Candio you've seen many, many times on the video. And the street vendor with a horn behind me. So let's take a walk down this street and see what we got. Now this is called Cage or Cale, however you want to pronounce it. 13. Trece. Cage Trece. And on the left here we've got the Armenian Hotel. About a hundred dollars a night very nice and ahead you'll see Parque de la Vida it's the main entrance to the park which I've also shown you many times the last time being the uh, Christmas light spectacular You come around the corner here and you'll see over there where that lady is standing. That's the uh, window. You pay your 2,000 pesos, 75 cents, and you go into the park. But up this street, what do we have? Well, we're going to take a look. Now right there you see the Rentar Inmobiliaria. Those are rental agents. And for gringos, it's kind of hard to dealing with them. They don't negotiate. They've got all kinds of rules and they're going to hit you up for um, big deposits. I uh, don't recommend it. You want to work directly with an owner. Here we got a Tienda del Cap Tienda here we have Tienda de Cafe, nice place to kick back with your Wi-Fi, have a milkshake, a smoothie, a cappuccino. Little boutique clothing store. AXM Burger House. Now, there's a few of these, so it must be a chain. There's a huge one uh, across the street from Kalima. You may have seen it in that video. I've eaten one time uh, home delivery to try it out, and it was quite good. In particular, they make uh, their own french fries, and they're really well done. Pricey. Well, for here, maybe a burger and fries probably going to run you about eight dollars. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. Mexican food. I've had that before. 
quite good. Again, a little higher price than normal, but um, very, very, very good. Very well done. And the building itself, these are apartments. Let's keep on walking down. I remember this is kind of a kind of a back street. Runs parallel to the main street. Now how would you pronounce that? Tourette's? Toretes. Steakhouse and beer. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. And what do they have here? They've got El Morso, 10,000. So that's the lunch special. Take a look there. I'll have to come for lunch sometime. Maybe even dinner, check it out. But any sign that says steak and beer, it's gotta be good, right? Uh, here, what do we have? Let's see if I can pan up. Standing in front of an apartment building. Looks very nice. Nice balconies. Lots of actually nice apartment buildings around here. And over here, Tejares de Parque. These are, oh, kind of like bungalows. They're groups of small buildings that probably have maybe two or four apartments in them. I'm not sure. I mean, without going in and checking it out. Uh, nice playground, looks like a very nice family place with good size uh, places to live. Across the street here for rent, for rent. Nice balconies. Jardin de Vizcaya. And here's another. Very nice looking place. Nice sidewalks. For rent. Very nice neighborhood, wouldn't you say? Very well done. Love the sidewalk. I mean, another apartment building. Now, if you go up this street a um, little bit farther, there's a Peruvian restaurant that's fairly well known. Across the street. More apartments. They do love their balconies. More of that same building. Now let's look down this street. And lo and behold, what do we have? More apartment buildings. Very, very, very nice. Beautiful neighborhood. Now let's take a look, see if you can put this all together. We've got a little hill here, not very long. And if we look up, what is that? That's the Mokawa building. And right up there you see that sign, Olympica, blocked from my house. Hotel Trugo, 
coffee. Everything is about coffee here. Beautiful neighborhood. Walking up the hill. Walking up the hill. It's kind of a short version of Manizales. Fruit stand over there. Really good fruit. Mattress store. And I planned this so that I could uh, stop filming and go do some grocery shopping. LT. Yep, there's, there's Mater down there. Five pieces of bacon cut in half. Two sandwiches. And time for editing.